To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. Preserved in the pages of John Kennedy Tools, a Confederacy of Dunces, as the irascible Ignatius Riley's beverage of choice, Dr. Nutt was part of the local scene from the 1940s off and on until the late 70s. Its distinctive label and flavor remains memorable to a small but loyal fan base. Yeah, Dr. Nutt was really my favorite. It, it was sort of a, like a, an early Dr. Pepper. It was like a strong drink, and, and I had the squirrel on the on a bottle. When I was little, that that was my favorite drink, really. You know, I, 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 you know, I'd get it just because of the squirrel. You know? Dr. Nutt was the best soft drink there ever was. Uh, it has existed in three different periods, and it was the same little six and a half ounce bottle with the squirrel on it, Dr. Nutt. And I didn't know what that flavor was until many years later when I was at a bar or at the end of a meal somewhere and someone bought amaretto as an after dinner drink for everybody. And I took one sip and I said, that's Dr. Nutt, that's the taste. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.